if you want something done extremely well, you call in a specialist. And if that thing you want done extremely well is cucumbers, for instance, you come to Beverly Greenhouses. We're near Dundas, Ontario, and we're about to speak with Dale and Jan Vanderhout, who run Beverly Greenhouses, and we're gonna to try to pick up a few tricks of the trade of cucumber production from them. All right, we are here in a forest, a tall forest of cucumber plants with Jan and Dale Vanderhout from Beverly Greenhouses. So what's special about where we're standing now? What, what age are the cucumbers at? The crops are all at different stages and they're generally two to four weeks apart. And that allows us to have a continuous production cycle. So we actually go through uh, four times a week uh, wrapping the string around the plant uh, till it gets to the top and this allows the plant to intercept as much light as possible. Uh, this way the cucumbers are all hanging nicely from the from the vine and then they can have a, a uniform green color and maintain a straight shape. How do you keep it perfectly climate controlled, you know, regardless of the time of year that it is outside? We do have control somewhat over the temperature. So there are vents uh, in the roof that we open up to keep the greenhouse cooler when it gets hotter than we want. In the winter time, then we, we have a central heating system. The, the pipes will be as, as hot as 90 degrees Celsius, and we're able to keep the greenhouse uh, pretty much on ideal temperature. Our family was one of the first families to switch to biomass for heating their greenhouse. We've been burning wood now for 35 years, and of course we burn most of that between the months of December and March. This is our main fuel source for heating the greenhouses, and it displaces uh, fossil fuels. None of it is purpose grown. It's all wood that has come from, mostly from pallets, but also from construction and demolition. Yeah, what do you do about pests, Dale? We do a lot of our pest control biologically, and we're, we're introducing uh, good bugs to essentially eat the bad bugs. We have a team and basically that's what they do. Every day, all day, they are monitoring for pests and deciding when and how much of the good bugs to put out. Timing needs to be very precise because if you're too late, they can't catch up. How much are you guys able to, to pack and ship and process in a day? So our biggest day would be around 12,000 dozen and we can do that at a rate of 1,600 dozen per hour. Our packing house is a state-of-the-art packing facility. Almost all the heavy lifting has been eliminated by, uh, by the use of machines. What would you say were some of the ideal characteristics that you'd want to see in someone who's getting into the greenhouse business? What it really takes to be successful as a greenhouse operator is a commitment to do what it takes. When that alarm goes, you got to be willing to get out of bed and go and find the problem and fix it. I always say that farming is it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. First thing I do in the morning is I check if the plants have enough water. The last thing I do before I go to bed is I make sure the plants had enough water for the day. There's no clock to punch in what we do. 